Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks for joining us in this new Tips and Tricks video and an update to a previous video which we're going to show you in just a moment. And it has something to do with that star right over there. Stay tuned. back hey guys let's go ahead and get started with this so um, first I want to show you if you have a modern version of X lights meaning this is uh, this is May 26 2021 I'm using X lights version 2021.16 uh, if you were using 2019 dot like let's say 54 so the end of the, the last time you used X lights was two years ago or a year and a half ago um, the, there was a change in the uh, in how the models were created for the star and the uh, circles model, and we're going to go through those changes. But first, if you opened up your old layout and your Mega Tree star looks like this, I'm going to show you the the way to fix that, and we'll do that really quick. So what's ha what happened is is uh, uh, the change for those models were completely uh, I believe that they were completely rewritten. So these are new models. So it does the same thing. It's just set up a different way. It's a little easier to work with, I guess. For uh, it just it provided a lot more um, options, and you'll see that whenever we get to the starting location. But to fix this so that it looks like a normal star again, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, remember how you built your model, and uh, the old way. If if I were to um, uh, if I were to uh, re allow you to recall some of this, uh, is to uh, create a star model. Now, this is my layout creation uh, part eight video, um, stars and wreaths. And I walked through this, and this is the old method. And you used to just put all of the layers in an order with a comma between them, and it would create those layers for you, and bam, it would be done. And you would just tell it which of the four start locations you would use. Well, now this has changed. And we don't physically use these, uh, we don't use one single line for layers. We tell it how many layers the, stars ha the star has or the circle has, I believe. And uh, we'll get into that as well. And then uh, we, had, we have to put these manually in and tell x Lights, hey, this is how many pixels is in the center of the star, and this is how many pixels on the outside. So obviously these are reversed. And to fix this, all we have to do is reverse the numbers. So I'll do that really quick. I'll hit a 20 in here. 30, 40, 50, 60, so if if you did nothing more to your model, if you did nothing more at all to your model, period, this would be correct. If you didn't rewire it, didn't, didn't change it, you're just fixing it so that it just works right, you don't have to do anything else. We'll get more into some of the additional options here. Those are available to people who are building their stars because there's different start points now, which is kind of nice. Uh, considering that people don't think to build stars uh, how I consider to build a star, somebody else considers to build it or wire it a different way. So this uh, just gives you some different options, and there, uh, there for you, we'll go into that in just a little bit. The other thing I'll say is whenever you zoom out here, uh, I notice like this one is uh, real big. I'm going to go ahead, right-click, and unlock, and I'm going to uh, move the star a little bit. And I'm going to make it much smaller so it looks a little bit more realistic. So that would be uh, an, a fix for, for your layout. So if that's what you came for the video for, then fantastic. We just fixed your problem. But if you still need to build a star, let's go through and get some of the basic understandings to do this. Oh, and one final mention here. The small stars, it didn't seem to affect them. Whenever I com uh, converted ours over, it automatically worked correctly. I'm not sure exactly why that was, but it did happen. So uh, with that being said, um, what I want to do now is I want to uh, share with you, if you purchased a wreath from Boscoyo or if you purchased uh, or made your own or uh, you have a star, uh, the, the, the same thing is going to be true for, all, for both of them. It might be a little different for the wreath, uh, much more simple for the wreath, we'll, we'll say. But uh, in any event, let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to do from scratch. We're just going to create this star. And to get the information for building this star, you want to go to whoever's 
uh, sale page or however you decided to make it however many pixels what you need to know is you need to know the number of total pixels that are going to be on it and what the layer sizes are so I've already gone to uh, the trouble we've already done the 20 30 40 50 60 70 nodes per string now let's get this off of here and we'll go ahead and we'll build a star model and we'll show you some of these uh, rather cool options so now that we've got this here let's go ahead and um, let's build into this a um, uh, a start location so one of the things you want to do is you want to consider where are you going to start wiring your pixel at and it whenever you do wire your pixel are you going to go clockwise looking at it from the front so I have my prop here and I'm looking here this, I know this isn't a, a star but it's a snowflake but I'm looking at it from the, the front and this is the way X slice sees the model it sees it from the front so I'm looking at my star from the front and I'm starting at the bottom at the top am I starting in the the center right here in the center am I starting on the left or right side or something or am I starting in the in the crotch area so you have a lot more options now than you used to but what I wanted to point out is that whenever you're setting this up you're doing it from the very front of looking at the prop whenever you wire it it reverses it there is a wiring diagram on the opposite side on uh, that you can follow and print out and I want to make that very clear because it's, it's easy to get kind of confused when you're building these models so if I were building a brand new star where I would probably start is in the crotch in the bottom of the center and so this is automatically by default what X lights will select is bottom center clockwise and when whenever we say clockwise again we're going out around the front side in a clockwise direction if you turn this around and push it and you push it in a clockwise direction now you have to change the model in X lights to be counterclockwise or down in Australia you say anti-clockwise I don't know which is the right way to say it guys say let me know in the comments now what I used to teach people was um, we you used to put your layers in right here you used to write everything out but now we have we know we have six layers and if you hit six and then enter and then see how it says auto defaults to 50 so if the inside is 20 that, that now you know this this one's 30 this one's 40 this one's 50 this one's 60 and this one's 70 and let's go fix this 20 here there is your star you've just made it now it's up to you to say well where am I starting the doggone thing um, you can have right bottom you can have right bottom counterclockwise clockwise let's go ahead and select that and let's see where this is going to show up as your first start pixel you can right click and look at the node layout and if you make this bigger this is a front view by the way right front I believe that is here so the bottom right tip so you have some options you can and it goes in that clockwise direction as I said so it starts over here on the bottom right and it goes uh, uh, clockwise which means it starts here and it goes up so now let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the wreath that's available at Boscoyo. you have your own wreath that you've created fantastic just know what layer sizes are important uh, what you have uh, are, are built into the model and in this instance we have uh, 99 nodes for this for this particular wreath we have three rings uh, of 33 nodes so this one's going to be rather easy so let's go up here we'll grab the circle model we'll click and drag and I'm not using the wreath model there's a difference between the wreath model and the circle model the circle model does concentric uh, uh, concentric circles so it becomes that layered wreath if you will uh, and uh, the wreath is just one single row uh, so you can't do layers with the uh, wreath model unless they change something maybe I better look at that real quick because those developers you know they can do some crazy stuff sometimes it just surprised me no it doesn't look like they changed it so we'll get the, we'll get rid of that okay all right so uh, let's go ahead and get back to this um, so what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and we'll uh, give ourselves the number of layers that we have we have three layers and after we enter that we can enter our uh, numbers which are 33 click again 33 click again and 33 
And so now you have the wreath model that is set up. Now, if if you're if you're looking at your wreath, like uh, the, the the wreath here from Boscoya has a big open center. Maybe you can, you you know you can go in and you can adjust these. There's some there's some uh, adjustments that you can make. See the center percentage here. We can we can make that percentage uh, less so that you stretch them in, so it's more like a bullseye, or you can stretch it out so it is a little bit more accurate or true to what the uh, what the real model kind of looks like here uh, in reality. So uh, that's up to you. That's a that's a viewing preference. Uh, it, it, it's nice whenever things are uh, exactly set up the way that it matches in the model. So, um, but that is that is that's basically all we have. Uh, all we have to do is set up these concentric models. Now, the last thing that you want to do, obviously, with the wreath model, is figure out where you're starting it. You have uh, six different, or I'm sorry, eight different locations. You can stop, uh, uh, start at the top outer and go clockwise or counterclockwise. You can start at the top center uh, in, on the inside and go clockwise and counterclockwise. And then likewise, you can do both from the bottom inner and the bottom outer and do them clocker. And that's it, guys. I, I, I wanted to hit uh, two very important issues. Number one was reviewing how you can build these yourself. Number two is if you already had these models and X lights changed on you, you understand uh, that it had made a change and that what you could do to go in to fix it. Uh, just remember, if you did have to go in and fix it, it's no big deal. You don't have to change your start location because X lights didn't change that. Um, but if you're building a brand new one, now you've got the background and a little bit of history and understanding on how to add it into your layout. So guys, that's everything from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Also, if you appreciate the content we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, by all means, consider joining us at the PPD Sequence Club. There'll be a little link up here. And if you join the PPD Sequence Club, you get one awesome sequence each and every month, brand new to the store. We guarantee it. It's an amazing sequence every month. And if you don't like it, we give you a choice of two other ones. Um, now, also, if you are if you're running into problems or you have questions or you're getting frustrated because you've got so many answers, uh, by all means, join our small PPD uh, Facebook community on Pixel Pro University. Just search Facebook or look in the link down below in the video description and go join our Pixel Pro University Facebook group. Guys, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. We will see you in the next video. Take care.